Hey there and welcome to the next video in the series about how you can create a RESTful API in Firebase and with Cloud Functions. We ended with um, this JavaScript web app file that is really, really basic right now. We're just importing the requirements and then we made a simple route and that is a localhost route so we're not accessing the database. So in this video I thought that we should create one of the more core routes, the create one, and it's going to be a post method, except for um, for the hello world, that was a get one. So this one is going to be a post where we're sending data to the database and uh, saving them. But first we need to actually authenticate ourselves to Firebase and authenticate the web app. And we, we're going to the Firebase administration panel here again, and then we hit the settings and users and permissions. And then we click on service accounts and then we can see that there is the Firebase admin SDK and this is a unified way to authenticate your app for actually a, being allowed to use Firebase features such as the database and storage and auth among others. So it's working on a variety of programming languages and we get this code snippet for Node.js that we can copy and then we should put this into yeah, we, it's actually going to give us admin, but we don't. We already have it, so we're removing that. Uh, so it's using admin, so we need to put this under the definition here. And then it will also require that we have uh, a JSON file, the service account key file, and we can get this by generating a new private key. So we click on generate new private key, and it's going to give us, uh, yeah, it's going to tell us that it should be kept uh, confidential and never stored in a public repository on GitHub, for instance. So uh, this will allow the app to get access to all the Firebase services. So we generate the key and we're going to get one down here. I'm just going to rename the file because it's, I think that file name is a little too long here. So I'm going to rename to permissions and then we need to copy this file to the project. So we're going to work, JavaScript, Firebase CRUD API, functions, and then we put it right there. So that is basically it for Firebase and uh, to create this private key here. And then we need to adjust the path to our JSON file, and we can see it is in the same directory as the index file. So one of the ways we can do this is by doing a dot slash permissions. That is it for the authentication here. Then we need to also work a little bit with cores because now we're starting to work with uh, a service that is on another origin, another domain than this domain. So we, we're, we're just creating a reference here for cores and we need to also actually tell the app to use cores. So we're creating app uh, use and then cores And then we're typing origin true. And we probably should move app. Uh, we should move course, these two lines under here because they depend on the app. So we need to define this constant first. So we're telling the app to use course now. Uh, so it will be allowed to go to another domain or origin. Okay. So now we need to start working on the create route. And this is where we're going to actually send some data to our database because right now we don't have any, we don't have any collection right, right now. So we're going to have a collection called products uh, that will consist of documents uh, that will each be a product. Okay, so we take the structure from our hello world route here and that was a get route, but now we need to to send data, so we're going to post data to our API. We are going to do API slash create. So that's the API that we, or the route that we're going to specify in in Postman later on. So what is it going to do? Well, it's going to do an asynchronous call because we're working with uh, a database, basically. Let's just do this here and all right. And we're going to have a try and a catch. All right. 
right so in the first part here we will do a wait and then use our db oh yeah we're just also going to create a small helper reference called db that is going to come from admin firestore and then we're gonna do a wait and use our db and then we're gonna say collection and it's gonna be the products collection and then we want to create a document and it should have the id that we provide in the request here so we're telling uh, we're telling Express and um, and the database that we want to access the products collection and then we want to create a new document, a new object uh, in this collection. So we write create and that's a built-in function in, in Firebase here. And we should have a name, body name, description. and then a price right so we get this here and then we're going to return a response all right so now we can see there uh, here that uh, we're creating the the object, the JSON object, we're sending that to the database using create and we are returning 200 if everything goes well. If there is an error, we should handle it in the catch block here that will catch the error. And so what should we do in the catch block? Well, we're gonna do console lock error and then we're gonna return uh, status, oops status 500 internal server error and we're going to send with that all right so that should pretty much be it it's a post route and accessing the pr products collection yeah okay so let's have a go here and see if our new route will actually work here npm run serve so it says HTTP function initialized and let's head over to postman and create a new request add request so that's going to be create product so and the difference here is we're not using post we're using uh, we're using post instead of get and we should also put the correct URL in here. So it's not gonna be app, it's gonna be uh, app API slash create, because we are creating a new product here. And uh, because we're sending data now, we need to also specify the data. And we can do this using, well, there are different ways here, but I use raw and then we specify it should be JSON. And that's important that you select JSON here. And then we can create a JSON object in here. And let's just put in some test data. Uh, so it's going to be product A and description. So that's going to be product awesome. And the price. So we have an ID, we have a name, we have a description, we have a price, and they should be the correct one here. So let's have a look, see how it goes. Let's send this to our database. And it says 200. And we don't have any route that can display the content of the, of the API. But if we head over to our Firebase console, we can see that the API has actually connected to Firebase, to the database. It has created the 
the collection products it has created one product uh, one document and each this uh, this document have three key value pairs three pieces of data and we can see it fits nicely with the ID and the other properties of the document here so that was the first interesting core route in this and uh, in the next we're going to do the read and uh, also some of the other core routes so stay tuned for the next video and thank you for watching bye bye